Again, bros, women, people, humanity, fanboys, and fangirls, and as always, Otakus and Nikki Komori's out there. This is Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 AK Mania with Rain. Of course, you guys are rest injured on the channel. Find my Twitter and Instagram, all the other good stuff. It's literally like the fifth time I fucking try to do this video because my microphone thinks, oh, it keeps disconnecting or it's not working. It's absolute bullshit because I connect it to this damn thing. I don't know. Then again, this computer is almost 10 and a half fucking years old, so. I guarantee you by next year I'm definitely upgrading. Before, of course, or that, I'm definitely buying my Switch. That's the upgraded battery one that came out like three weeks ago. So, um, either this month or next month I'm probably getting it. So that way I'll be in time to get Pokemon Sword and Shield. I know some people aren't going to get it because they're still pissed about hashtag bring back nationalists. I'm still a little upset about that too, but I got the fuck over it the second I saw the fucking Galarian fucking forms. Of not just um, the Galarian version of, um, or Galarian version, I do want to say it. For Zigzagoon and Lightning, but it's new evolution. Hops to fucking Goon is an absolute beast. I said that last week. I stick to it. And uh, the Galarian Weezing, yeah, it's funny. It looks like a little bit of a hookah vaping pen or some shit like that. It's funny. <laughs> Hilarious is all freaking hell, I'm telling you. Oh, and then by the time I'm recording this, it is a little bit Pokemon related, but it shouldn't really matter because I don't even know in Sword and Shield if the, the shiny odds are, are still going to be 4,096. My opinion is 4,098 or 4,100 because I like to round up numbers to the nearest 100th. And I used to do that way back in elementary, middle school. But I hate it math. Now I don't hate it as much as I used to because I don't even need it no more. I haven't used it in like 12, 13 years. Well, it's been a long ass time since I used it. That's when I was going to community college back in the day. I didn't even use it all here. So, yeah, without further ado, let's begin. I got these articles on my fucking phone just in case. Just in fucking case. This thing decides not to work me. So it says, Japan's number one cosplayer attracts giant crowds. Recording, record setting summer at Comic Cat 2019. I actually did a video on this a couple days ago. It's probably not going to be out to either Saturday or Sunday. It's going to be a couple days from now. And I said I wasn't going to do them until September. I still am going to be doing them in September when it gets cooler out because it was literally 115 fucking degrees out there yesterday when I did my chat and breeze, which I said I wasn't going to do, but I decided to do it. And it cut off the last four minutes. I didn't even realize it cut off the last four minutes of my video before I looked. It's like, oh, phone is overheating. We have to turn off the applications, which kind of sucked. I had to wait like a half hour until I was able to use my phone again, which sucked, but whatever. So this, um, I'm not sure where this article comes from, but it's from Next Shark. So um, shout out to them. So this goes on to say, um, Inako, Enako, who is known as Japan's top number one cosplayer, returned to this year's summer Komiket event and attracted <clears throat> whoa attracted i don't know why i did that for i have to look at my phone for that part uh da, 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 da. a jaw-dropping size crowd to take pictures of her oh there it is summer coming gate oh and before i do keep going i think this is the same convention i did talk about this coming gate thing before this convention or whatever has a lot of japanese anime like cosplayers and shit like that Unfortunately, these, a lot of these Japanese dudes are very perverted as fuck. I mean, it does come with the Japanese culture. It's literally one of the top five probably biggest perverted countries in the world. I don't know, probably next to France and maybe Italy. No offense to anyone that lives in France or Italy if you happen to be living over there. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing out numbers. That one, that one alone, maybe India and maybe parts of the Philippines might be real perverted too. I'm not sure. I mean, the whole world, in a way, in every country, they're going to have their fucking perverts no matter what. But in Japan, that's pretty much number one out there. I mean, that's why it's probably one of the biggest issues whenever, like, I'm not trying to get into politics or anything, like how they live their lives. That's how they do in Japan. Remember, it's an island country. They don't really know that much about the outside world, how the rest of the world works, except for them. It's Japan, you know? I remember, like, I was hearing, like, that's why they got so many fucking panty, panty vending machines over there. That would never happen here in the United States. And if it does, that'd be awesome. But it would suck, too, because, huh. But I know some women would be really pissed off, especially the bullshit feminist SJW fucks, which I don't give a shit if they p get pissed off or not. They go fuck themselves, to be honest. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, this was the same place where that girl, she got harassed a couple days ago at this convention, which I did say in my older video, which is going to be out either Saturday or Sunday, so I'll be able to post that eventually, sooner or later. I also talked about the real strict rules of Mixer over there that a lot of Twitch thoughts are not happy with. Along with the fact that, um, <laughs> oh man, this dude got fucking swatted. This this guy that won, like, this Fortnite competition for $3 million in Germany. 
I talked about that as well, but that's going to be in my next future video I already talked about, so and it's down below if it's there, so let's keep it moving. So it says, Summer, Summer Comic Con. Yeah, this girl, she got like a panic attack because dudes were taking panty shots of her butt and everything like that and her titties, so she must be really, really scared of shit that something bad was going to happen to her. <laughs> Luckily, there was security over there, so nothing bad didn't happen to her. So anyways, let's keep it moving. Summer Comic Gate. Da, 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 da. There it is. 2019 attracted about 730,000 attendees, breaking the previous record of 590,000 2013's event, according to Crunchyroll. There's official tweets there. And look at all those people taking fucking shit little pictures of her. I mean, I get it. She's a really pretty ass Japanese chick. I'm not gonna lie, because I do like Japanese Asian bitches. Or literally, no offense. To any of the race ethnicities, I don't want to sound like I'm a bigot or a racist because I'm not. As far as white girls and Latina chicks, they're hot as fuck. Black women, it's a little bit different. I'm not saying they're not ugly. I'm not saying they're super sexy either. It's like, they're like in the middle with me. I'm not really crazy about them, but they're decent. They're they're mad. I don't know. I just, I just have a lot of shitty experiences with black women. They're just that Some of them just act like fucking men. I'm sorry. If you happen to be a black woman listening to this, I'm sorry. It's just... I never really had that much attraction to them, unless, I don't know, they don't even have to have the big, beautiful tits and a big butt or nothing either. They could just be a really hot, light-skinned black chick. It just, I don't know, I just never really did nothing for me. I'm sorry. And Middle Eastern women, yeah, some of them, they're cute as hell too, but some are really, real crazy and wacky. I've seen some of them act way crazy, especially when they're in alcohol. Holy shit. Let's keep it moving. So it says the 25-year-old cosplayer who makes it 1 million yen K nine million four hundred eighty one thousand nine 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 thousand four hundred eighty one thousand dollars a month through cosplay attended the third day of the four day summer comicet comicet event on August eleven dressed up like the character Ren from the anime series Re Zero a Sword twenty four news says I don't know why that fucking happens we're so stupid I apologize my friends anyways let me get a drink real quick because this shit's pissing me off a little bit. So if the same crap doesn't happen like before. All right, there we go. And then there's a bunch of really, really cute pictures of the really cute-ass fucking anime cosplayer chick. Very, very beautiful as hell. She would have been a little bit prettier if she had a bigger bust, in my own personal opinion. I know a lot of Japanese women are usually flat with their butts. That's okay. I could kind of give them a pass for that because I know a lot of Asian women aren't really known for having really big butts like how Latina chicks or Brazilian women or black women usually are or some white girls, but... I don't know. Some of them have some really, really nice big, you know what, some really nice fun bags, some breasts. So it says, even though the model stood quite a distance from her fans, photographers were well prepared for the occasion. Equipped with long lens cameras, the photographers focused on Inako and took the shots up close. Oh man, they definitely did. And there's a bunch of, um, <laughs> wow, a bunch of Twitter pics as well. And then this last part here says, Tay Young is finally taking the market's fans everywhere and they are crying. I took part in the summer of third day coming cut and rem cosplay to enjoy. Everyone took photos of me while it was hot. Thank you very much, the model wrote. Her tweet garnered over 158,000 likes and 38 retweets. Woo! That bitch is on top of the fucking world there, man. I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah. Um, Just recently, I started watching Dragon Ball Heroes a little bit. It was okay. I didn't get as much hype, hyper nostalgic vibes like I did with the Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball Z series. That's why I got my own wallpaper there, Android Twin One. I really hope one day she ends up being in some sort of part of Dragon Heroes episode. That would be cool as fuck. And just my own personal opinion. Anyways, it's very, very pretty, beautiful fucking Japanese chick. Absolutely gorgeous as fucking hell. And absolute bomb as fuck. Anyways, let's get on to the next one. So, um, a little bit of sad news here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to the third news. About Isabella from Animal Crossing being the tour guy for Nintendo of Japan. I don't know if it's called Nintendo of Japan or like a Japanese anime Disneyland or whatever. That's what um, Nintendo was thinking about them doing with Isabella. That's what they were saying. I'm not sure it's 100% confirmed or not. If it is, that's awesome. And if not, whatever. Okay, there we go. So it says... Um, Japanese man arrested after threatening to repeat Kyoto Animation arson attack on Square Enix. This is absolute fucking bullshit. I'm glad they caught this motherfucker before he decided to, like, absolutely start murdering people out of nowhere for fucking bullshit and absolute disgustingness. 
So I'm glad they caught this motherfucker. I know this is over two weeks old, but or a week old it says here, but by the time this video goes up, it'll be two weeks old. It looks like a major development for studios in Japan can't get a break nowadays. The 40-year-old Kenshin Hitsaraku was recently arrested after he made violent threats against none other than Square Enix. In particular, he made posts such as the following to company's main wire says, Give me back my money for your shit game. Do you want a repeat of Kyoto animation? Oh, this motherfucker's making threats like that. I guarantee you the Japanese government probably found him pretty fucking fast. I'm glad they pinned this motherfucker to the wall, and I hope his ass goes to prison for life for that shit. That is fucked up. Thank God he didn't do it. Let's keep it moving. So it says, if you've been out of the loop, a terrible tragedy struck Kyoto Animation last month, which caused the deaths of 35 staff and prominent anime directors. Namely, an independent novelist is set to fire anime studios and its employees while claiming that their story has his ideas. When Nasi had made similar threats to Square Enix, Hisaraku told the Tokyo Metropolitan Police, I says, quote, I was pissed off at losing in the game, so I sent the mail, mail, unquote. It is currently not clear where Hitaraku was angry about. We will report this back if the story happens to develop any further. Overall thoughts, these and opinions. I know I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of Square Enix games. Mainly stuff like Final Fantasy. I kind of already know how it comes when it comes down to Final Fantasy with me. I just I really get crazy ass hot nostalgia vibes from it because Back in the day in the PS1, PS2 era, I know it was on top of the world of Final Fantasy series, which it still is one of the biggest video game titles out there in 2019, going on 2020 in a couple months. But still, at the same time, I'm just not really feeling it. The girls in there are beautiful as fuck. And the music is amazing. Just I never really cared about the story that much. It just bored the hell out of me. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, let's get into this real quick, and it's another game I really don't care so much about. I never cared about the Animal Crossing franchise, and a lot of you people that watch my videos might love Animal Crossing, and that's cool. You're able to love whatever the hell you want, and not telling you that you shouldn't. If it makes you happy playing Animal Crossing, that's awesome. That's absolutely amazing. I'm happy for you, but if, for me personally, I never really cared for it. I'm sorry. Japanese fans decided that Isabella would be the best Nintendo sightseer guy. Okay. I thought it was Tour Guy, and I saw it here, guys. So this comes from Ryan Craddock from Nintendo Life. I'm not going to be able to read this whole thing, so I might just read less than half. We'll see. Nintendo characters often come with job roles attached. Mario and Luigi are plumbers. Animal Crossing's Isabella is a secretary. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> As a secretary. Da, 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 um, and Peach is a well-known princess who doesn't do anything other than to be rescued and to look after by... An army of toads? Who knows? That doesn't mean that they can enjoy other activities or jobs, though. Any Japanese magazine recently from Nintendo Dream recently asked if the readers were which creators would want to make the best sightseeing guides. You can vote yourself below. It's probably not as surprising as you think as Isabella's number one choice. So I'm just going to go over this list real quick. Isabella, Mario, Toad, Navi, Kirby, and Toriel. From Undertale, Sans from Undertale. I ain't expect them to be in there, but then again, they're on the Switch. They've been on the Switch since late last year, I think. Zelda from The Legend of Zelda and Link. Do you agree? We argue that Link will be a pretty rubbish considering he doesn't really talk. Let us know what your character you choose as a tour guide and why it comes in the comments below. Best answers. When's a sightseeing tour of Nintendo Japan? Probably, definitely not. <laughs> I wish. Out of this list, I could see maybe four of them being a tour guide. Definitely, um, <laughs> Kirby would be awesome. Toria would be awesome as shit. Absolutely badass. Best fucking waifu in that game, by the way. <laughs> Sans would be funny. And then I guess Navi would be pretty cool, too. Where's Navi at? Inui would be a little annoying. I know there was somebody in the comments I looked down there to say Daisy or Lusumi. Not Lusumi. Isab not Isabella. Fuck. The bitch from um, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Rosalina. They said that she would be the best. If it was Daisy or any of the five people I said, that would be like a Nintendo sightseer tour guide. Oh, hell yeah. I'll be all up for it. Anyone else on that list is either okay or not like the best in the world, in my own personal opinion. With that being said, that's all I got to say for now, and I'm out of here. Links to the switch box down below, cards on the side, and I'm done. Oh, and Isabella, as I've seen a lot of fan art of her, not going to get too much into detail because it's a little graphic, but it's pretty decent. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fame boys, and fangirls, and as always, I'll talk as Nikki Kimori's out there. I'll see you when I see you guys every day, every night, wherever in the universe out there. Stay tuned more future anime manga news, video gaming industry news, internet news, and our episode of the video. Take it easy. Peace out. Anime light. Sour Carl. Later. Say goodbye. I'll see you people on the flip side. Later.